Welcome, dear friends, to our time of devotional reflection for Saturday and Sunday. That'll be February the 24th and 25th, 2024. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church, and I'm here to read for you this entry, which covers two days, from the book Hearing God Throughout the Year, a 365-day devotional written by Dallas Willard and Jan Johnson. This, this devotional reflection for the weekend is entitled a corporate presence. From scripture I'll read, Again, I tell you that if two of you on earth agree about anything you ask for, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three come together in my name, there I am with them. Matthew chapter 18, verses 19 to 20. Beyond simple faith in God's God's omnipresence, we sometimes have a vague but powerful sense, feeling or impression of God's presence. We need considerable experience in order to learn how to accurately recognize this and assess the meanings of such impressions. Yet, a sense of God's presence is frequently verified through the judgment of several individual members of the group. Different people simultaneously sense that certain things are to be done, that God is here and is moving in that direction. This corporate sensing is a well-known phenomenon. Experienced ministers and laypersons frequently find they have synchronized their activities unerringly in a meeting or other form of service through their sense of God's presence and what God intends for the particular occasion. It is something they come to expect and to rely upon. (coughs) Excuse me. And if you're wondering why I don't fix these things, I want it to feel really real. So let's pray. Consider a time when a certain community of believers in which you were involved, a church, a small group, a lunch group, sensed God's presence moving. Especially if you did not do so then, Thank God now that he makes his divine presence sensed and known, not only for individuals, but also for entire groups. Dear friends, as always, I thank you so much for taking time to out of your day to listen while I read these devotional reflections, even if I sneeze or cough or sometimes stumble over the words. I appreciate that you're here and listening. It's a blessing for me to do it, and I pray it's a blessing for you. Of course, I'm going to put the title and scriptures and the instructions for reflection into the description portion of this video for you. And I pray that you'll take the time to do that reflection and think about those things and listen to God through the weekend. And I will be back again, and I pray you'll be here on Monday when I'll be reading the next entry from Hearing God Throughout the Year by Dallas Willard and Jan Johnson. Until then, may you go in the grace and the peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.